All right, time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss, uh, we'll just uh, go further on uh, exact tree ratios and uh, trigonometry uh, that I explained earlier in my earlier videos, and we're going to do some examples, actually. Um, we'll do example one. Example one, we'll just, um, let's say we're given an angle uh, theta equals to, let's see what this one, uh, two pi over three. This is example one. And we want to find exact uh, ratios uh, you have, we want to find exact uh, trig ratios uh, in terms of sine cosine and tangent well uh, well if we were to graph this well this one is in radians so if you see my other video on radians well yeah this is basically um, if we were to draw like something like this let's draw the x and y axis x and y axis so this this angle is zero this is 90 degrees here it's 90 or this is 90 or pi over 2 so 90 or pi over 2 radians and uh, you notice here yeah and then this here this angle um, all the way here is actually yeah this is 180 or pi yeah so this is pi or 180 degrees and now we'll see, uh, well, we have to find out where this angle is, because when we draw it, we have to find out where it is. And 2 pi over 3, it's, well, it's less than pi, because that's just a fraction, like that, and it's uh, greater than pi over 2. You can just see, uh, look, it's 2 thirds of pi, this is half pi, so it's obviously bigger. So then it's going to be somewhere here. So we know that it's going to be something like this, the, um, the line. So we'll just draw it like this. So we'll draw it like that. Yeah, so then this is 2 pi over 3. And if you see my other video, you have to look at the uh, reference angles. Um, yeah, so this one, we're going to have to look at the reference angle, uh, which is this. This is the reference angle. We'll call it theta r. And I'll just draw a line like that. Okay, so the reference angle here is, um, well, it's going to be just pi minus this. So it's, it's going to be this angle minus that, and then you'll get that angle. So we'll get reference equals pi minus 2 pi over 3. And this one, if you were, this times this, um, this would just equal 3 pi over 3 times the top and bottom just to get common denom denominator. And then this would just equal 2 pi over 3. And from my other video, you know the exact uh, trig ratios of pi over 3. Well, a quick way to uh, memorize the, well, the exact trig ratio is a quick way. Exact ratios for pi over 3 and pi over 60. And so this pi over 3 is just uh, 60 degrees. Yeah, and then a quick way to do that it would just be if you draw a triangle like this. This is a quick way. All you do is get a 2, 1. This can be root 3 using trig. And, this, and then this angle here is pi over 3. And then this angle is pi over 6. Yeah, this is uh, 60, and that's 30 degrees. Or pi over 6. Okay, so that's 60 degrees. So this is a quick way of getting the ratios. And from my other video, you know, uh, yeah, so we just look at this one. So we know that sine, yeah, so sine of, uh, so that's all we do is look at the reference angle. So we go sine of pi over 3. Well, th this is, yeah, this is, this would just be, what is this one? This is root, yeah, this is 1 over root 2. Yeah, so number, this is of, of pi over 3. This isn't exactly of uh, this one. I'll, I'll show you a bit later. So this is 1 over, uh, one over 2. This is just opposite over hypotenuse. And then cosine pi over 3 is just equal to root 3 over, over 2. And tan is just going to be... Uh, yeah, this is going to be opposite over adjacent, so 1 over root 3. And then uh, if we remember our all students take calc uh, to calculus, is a all students take, it's my other video. So then, uh, this one's all of them positive, this is only sine is positive. And then everything else negative. So th what this means is, this is, if we were to go sine of 2 pi over 3, 
So it equals this, but then we have, yeah, so then this one just equals one over two. And then for cosine of two pi over three, this is just gonna be equal to negative root three over two. And tan two pi over, th over two equals negative one over root three. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, so we have that. So yeah, so that's, uh, so these are basically the, the answers. This one's for the reference angle, but then the reference one, you need to include the uh, negatives. And then if you were to actually uh, draw it, draw that out here, it would be just like this. So you, this is the X, is it better, just X, Y. So it's somewhere like this, and this is, uh, this is pi over three. And then, yeah, so it's pi over three. This is gonna be two, this is one, this is root three. Oh, this is actually negative root three. So whenever you have, yeah, this opposite, all students take pill. Yeah, and as you can see that, uh, yeah, uh, so opposite over adjacent here would just be one over, one over two, and it's positive, yeah, so this is why it's uh, the negative there. So you could just uh, do it this way, or just or just put it the y over three, the uh, these exact ratio stuff there. So that's the first example. Let's go example two. And so the ex other one, let's say if cosine theta equals two over five, <coughs> and theta is uh, less than pi over two, or this is ninety degrees or at 90 degrees, uh, find the others. Let's say find uh, sine and tan. So find sine and tan theta. So this is cosine here, so we know it's, uh, yeah, let's say greater than zero. That's given, but okay, so let's say, so then we're gonna draw it like this. So this is the x, y, so then we'll draw it here. All right, so this one, we'll just uh, draw this like that. And this is theta. This is pi over two, that's zero. So it's gonna be somewhere like this. This is where all you do is just draw a straight line like that. Then we'll just draw a triangle like this. And then it's cosine, this is adjacent, which is two over hypotenuse, which is five. And then if we were to use uh, Pythagorean theorem, you can see my other video, this would equal, let's call this, uh, or uh, yeah, just X or A. Let's call it A. Yeah, and then uh, this one would just be, well, what's it, five squared equals to two squared plus a squared, and then a would just, this one just be 25, yeah, so a squared equals to 25 minus four, and then a is equal to plus or minus, this is 21, and then we'll just uh, look at just a positive 21. We don't need to care about the negative because it doesn't make sense in this uh, application. So then this is just uh, root 21. And yeah, from here we can just get the sine. So the sine of uh, theta would just be equal to, well, opposite, which is tw root 21 over 5 is hypotenuse. And then tan theta would just equal to, yeah, opposite over adjacent, 21 over 2. Well, uh, yeah, so that's a quick way. So there's your answers. So let's look at uh, another example here. Uh, this uh, this example here is example three. This one is actually showing to you how to use the calculator. So let's say we have something like this. Okay, we just have a triangle. Yeah, let's say we have this is x. This is sixteen, and then this angle is forty degrees. So if we were to pull, yeah, and if we were to find out what x is, this is just using how the calculator. Uh, then we, even if, uh, yeah, we just use a calculator. This isn't an exact ratio, so, but we could just still find x using calculator. Let's say using uh, calculator. So then um, this one, if we could write this in a ratio, uh, we know that basically this is opposite over adjacent, so this is 10. So 10, 40 degrees equals, yeah, equals 16 over x. So if we rearrange it, this would, x would equal to 16 over 10, 10, 40 degrees. And then we just put in the calculator. And then we'll just uh, drag the Google calculator again. We'll just uh, find this right here. Scroll down. This is 
Yeah, so 10, so we'll just go <coughs> 16 divided by 10, and then we'll just write 40 degrees. Initially, uh, Google's default is gradient, so you gotta write 40 degrees. So 19.06, so round it to 07. So then we'll just write that here. It goes 19.07. So yeah, so this is, oh yeah, so that's how you use the calculator. I'll show you exactly, uh, and then probably later on, um, how, how the calculator actually finds what 1040 is. I'll show you, it's um, pretty complex. Well, uh, this is basically a few examples on using uh, basically trig and and finding the values. Here you gotta look at the reference angle, and this is all students take calculus. This is a short way to see uh, what's positive. This is everything's positive, only sine is positive. In this case, only sine is positive. Uh, yeah, except, yeah, so only sine is positive. Everything else is negative here, negative, negative. Yeah, and then uh, this is only 10 is, uh, 10 is positive here, only cosine is positive. This is, um, see my other video on what it was? Or you could just plug in the values here, or just look at it this way. So negative th root 3 and whatever. Well, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, and um, hope you learned. And stay tuned for another Math Easy Solution.